So what you go by? All right, man. I go by um Smiley with the double E. You know what I mean? S M I L double E. That's what I go by. What's your nationality? Cambodian, homie. Cambodian. Were you ever part of any gang groups or organizations? I started off as a L.O.P., man, Little Oriental Posse, you know what I mean? That's when I was real young. I was about, you know what I'm saying, maybe 10 or 11 years old. L.O.P. is the clique that I started on my own, man. It's just a posse that I got started, you know what I mean? Um, I was about 15 deep, about 16 deep, something like that, man. You know, just going around breaking the people's house and shit. But then I got into a gang at, um, at the age of... Uh, Say 15, I was 15 years old that time. I turned into TRG, you know what I mean? Time to Rascal Gang from 6th Street, you know what I mean? 6th Street, man. Fresno, California, north side, 6th Street, Sin City. So, what made you join Tiny Rascal Gang? Growing up in the hood, huh? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I came from Santa Ana, California, from Mini Street, man. I weren't banging though, but you know, mama didn't think I was gonna last over there and shit as a as a nice guy or as a as a as a as a pip kid. You feel me? But then all of a sudden she moved to Fresno. When I went to Fresno, man, you know it's all the same, man. Ain't no different. You know what I mean? So I'm growing up in the hood. People trying to test me out and stuff. I know y'all right now, but um, what what were you incarcerated for? Yeah, I was incarcerated for shooting into into hab, in, Hamlet dwelling, man. That's it, you know what I mean? Just like they call it a drive-by shooting. But, uh, you know, anyways, man, I was just a part of that. But I didn't do that, though. I got deported for something I didn't do, but I just didn't say nothing. Feel me? I was just there at the time. And how long was your sentence? I did three years, man. I did three years in the pen in Solid State Prison, and I did another two years in INS, man, waiting for deportation. All right, when you first got sentenced, how you feel about it? And when you first went to prison, hit the main line, what was your mentality? My mentality is Tiny Rascal Gang, homie. That's all it is. I went to the county jail the first time, and it's Tiny Rascal Gang on mine. That's it, you know what I mean? And then when I went to prison, I still got the same mentality, man. Straight command pride, man. Asian pride, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we gonna ride till the wheel fall off. That's what it was. That's what the mentality was about, man. It's all gangsterism, man. That's all it is. We went over there, ain't scared of nobody, man. You know how us, us Asian people, man, we go in, whatever we are, we going in like just like that, man. I feel nothing about it, man. I feel like, man, this is a crime that I'm saying, whatever, whatever happened, it happens, man. I'm not going to snitch. I'm not going to say no names. I'm just going to do my time. And then when I go hit the main line, man, it's the same thing. I'm, I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying, maybe they got us on the green light. Well, that time, they got TRG on the green light. And that's what, that's my mentality was like to stay protected, you know what I'm saying, to, to stay to my people, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to trust nobody else in prison, man. Because, you know, I don't know who to trust and who not to trust because I came from YA. When I went to prison, man, I'm a YA baby. They know that. They know I'm ready to go down, man. I'm ready to do some shit. I'm ready to shank somebody up or I'm ready to beat somebody's ass. That's all I was feeling, man. It's like, man, I got to earn my stripes. I got to get my respect. You know what I mean? That's all it was. My mentality was way different from a lot of people in prison because they telling me, like, youngster, you don't you don't come over here, man, doing that YA mentality shit. Man, there ain't no gladiator school. Because when I went to prison, man, they thought, it was, it, they thought I was going to do some damage, but then, you know, they telling me to Calm down. So I calmed down. You know, I didn't know that. I thought people were going to rush me like I was in YA. I nah, it isn't YA, man. You know, man, I went through YA first, man. I went through YA. First time I got caught for something, man, I went to YA, man, for gun charges and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? And then 211 and stuff like that. You feel me? You know, GTA, most of all that shit, man. And I went to YA, man. We was going to get down, homie. Huh? Anybody that's in me, they're going to they gonna fight. We're going to fight. We're going to fucking line them up. Before you got deported, to Cambodia, have you ever been there before? And um, when you got there, how you feel about it? Nah, man. The only time I've been in Cambodia is when I when I went, you know what I'm saying, from straight killing field, man, straight killing field, straight to the States and shit. I ain't never been back since they deported me. You know what I mean? <laughs> they deported me back, man. You know what I mean? That's the only time I've been back in Cambodia is the day they deported me. And I'm like, shit, you know what I mean? They was going to be about to blindfold me. They're going to kill me or something. That's what, I, that's what I was thinking. That's what was going through my mind. You feel me? I didn't know, man. I didn't know Cambodia was all right and shit. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just that you don't got a family over here, so you know, your mind's going to boggle. Your brain's going to start thinking about other stupid shit. You know what I mean? I don't know. Before I got deported, I'd never been here in Cambodia, man. I'd never been here. I do not want to be here. That's what my, I was thinking. You know what I mean? I was thinking about, hell, nah, I'm not trying to go back to Cambodia. You're going to fucking kill me. 
But you know, I got deported, man. You know what I mean? When I got deported the first time, man, I don't feel nothing. But uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't trust these people. I don't trust these locals. And so, you know what I mean? I clinged on to a lot of returnees, you know what I mean? Everybody else is, is that's returnees, that's who I'm hanging out with. That's who I trust, that's, that's who is my family, you know what I mean? Those are my families. That's what I'm thinking. Every deported that comes around me, that's families. That's what I was thinking when I first got here, homie. Um, so how is Cambodia for you right now, bro? You don't mind me asking. Cambodia for me right now, it's, uh, I think it's a little cool because I got a little piece of land right now. I'm trying to develop that shit, but no cash. Can't get no job due to COVID-19 shit, man. You know that shit right now is fucking everything up, man. It's causing a motherfucking economic crisis and shit. COVID-19 is fucking everybody up in the world right now. At the same time, I am too. You know, I'm living in Cambodia at the same time right now, fucked up. Got me and Curly up in the mountains right now. We're in the jungle. You know what I'm saying? We don't even have street lights, man. We don't have no telephone poles or nothing like that. We don't got no electricity lines. We don't got nothing out here. We just using um, solar panels, man. We're living off solar panels. We're living off generators. We're living off gas. You know what I'm saying? And uh, But uh, at the same time, we got plants and stuff like that, you know, like, trying to do some livestock and stuff like that. But we broke as hell. Yeah, we broke as hell, man. We're getting a little bit of support from the homies and stuff like that. Trying to do things, Jake. I hear you, bro. So, so what you got to say to these youngsters that's thinking about doing gangs and stuff? All I say to the youngsters, man, take care of your family, you know what I mean? Don't be like me. Don't go through what I go through, you know what I mean? It ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna you don't wanna be in prison jacking off and shit, man. When you got families at home and kids at home, you you got you know what I'm saying, you got responsibility, man. You know what I mean? You if you got a nine to five job, man, you might as well just take it seriously. You know what I mean? And do whatever you gotta do, man, to save your families, you know what I mean? To get your families right. You know what I mean? Then you can think about me. Then you can think about others. You know what I mean? At first, man, your priority is your family, man. Your family comes first. Believe that. What I think about the youngsters that's thinking about joining gangs, huh? Check this out, man. If you about to, you think about joining gangs, think again, homie. Think again. You already in the gang. You know what I mean? If you're Asian, if you whatever, whatever, man, if you human beings, you're already in the gang, man. We're all in the gang together in poverty, man. We're all in the gang that's 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 being used. You know what I mean? We're all in the gang that's that's struggling. That's going through life every day. The same thing, man. Same thing. We're all just one gang. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta represent no in particular gang or whatever, you know what I mean? Shit, man. Think about yourself in a group. Think about yourself in a group of families that you love. Your families, homie. Your families. I mean, your your loved ones. Your kids. Your mom. Your dad. Your uncle. Your your aunt. You know what I mean? Your grandma. Your grandpa. These are gangs, man. These are gangs. You ain't got to jump in no gang. You ain't got to get in no gang. You know what I mean? But if you're going to get in the gang, you better jump in the punk. you going to get in the gang, man. You better get in TRG, man. Play boys. You know what I'm saying? That's my gang, though, man. I always, always going to want somebody to be in my gang because my gang, we're trying to do some positive movement right now, man. We're trying to think about positive things, man. We're not trying to gang bang against no other Asian people or any other ethnic group. You know what I mean? No other race, no nationality. We're just trying to find unity, man. We're just going to find everybody that's, that's gang bang that's going through the same struggle to come together, man. Peace Treaty. That's all. That's the best gang in the world, man. The gang called Peace Treaty, man. No, no, you know what I'm saying? No, no fight, no war, no no violence. That's that's the real gang. But I appreciate them banging that gang, you know what I mean? I appreciate them my clicks too. My Playboys click, man. You know what I mean? When I got into TRG and I started my Playboys click, my click got deep, man, since 1997, you feel me? I got out of YA before I went to prison, before I got deported. You know what I'm saying? That's my click. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the founder of the Playboys. And it's always going to be like that, man. Everybody that's from Tiny Grass Gang throwing up that Playboy sign, that's my clique, man. You know what I mean? I appreciate them banging that shit. But at the same time, take care of your family, peeps. I see my homeboys on, on videos, you know what I'm saying, like right now. You know what I'm saying? They coming out with videos throwing up, you know what I'm saying, whatever, they, the hood and the click and all that stuff. And at the same time, you know what I mean, making money off of rapping and stuff like that, entertainment business and stuff like that. Shows, man, do that thing, man. It's better than shooting people up, you feel me? You don't want to go to prison, little J, little homeboys. You know what I'm saying? That's Playboys type shit, man. Just do that shit, man. Get your money the right way from the media or something. Don't go around trying to shoot somebody up, you know what I'm saying, for real and shit and end up in prison. All right, that's all the questions I have for you, homie. But um, you got any final words before we close this interview, bro? Peace and harmony, respect and loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Since we're all living in the same planet. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
OG Smiley from Fresno TRG. Hey, homie, we appreciate uh, you taking time off to do this interview and your busy schedule, bro. Um, I appreciate it, homie, and you enjoy the rest of your day. Right, man. You take care, man.